Hello, I'm Dave Jones, the jazz writer for Pianist Magazine. Um, this time in Lesson 6, the last of the series, I'm going to look at uh, the blues again. And uh, to start with, we'll complete uh, what we looked at last time with Watermelon Man and um, in looking at how to improvise with the right hand. And then uh, we'll also look at uh, another blues form. Now I'll play example one. Uh, which is a sample improvised phrase over B flat seven for bars five and six. And this time we're using the Mixolydian mode on B flat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. I'll play that a second time and put the left hand rootless voicing underneath. One, two, three, four. I'll move on now to example three, where we're looking at a few new voicings uh, for bars two and three, and six and seven in particular. Uh, these are two hand voicings for the, the B flat seven, B diminished seventh, um, and the F seven over C. Ending up on the B flat seven. Example four, uh, we'll look at the two-handed chord voicings for bar four, um, the C minor seven and F seven. Now example five, and these are two-handed chord voicings for bar eight with the A minor seven and D seven. Example six, uh, two-handed chord voicings for bars nine and 10, the G minor 7 and C7. And example 7. Uh, these are two handed chord voicings for what we call the turnaround in bars 11 and 12. Uh, this is something useful on non blues sequences as well, often. And uh, the chords we're looking at here F7, D7 flat 9, G minor 7, and C7. I'll play that a second time with a slight variation at the end where on the last chord, the C7, um, there's already a ninth added there. I'll flatten that to make it a C7 flat 9 at the end of the two bars. And one more version of that, um, quite often in this sort of context, uh, a jazz piano player would like to replace the F7 at the start of these two bars. Um, the main reason for doing that is to really avoid giving away the F7, which of course you'll encounter when you loop back to the start of the sequence again. Um, and also for improvising over the top of these chords ultimately where you play rootless voicings in the left hand. Um, it actually makes for more flow in the chord sequence and uh, it's better to improvise over. So here's another version of um, those last two bars with A minus seven at the front. To bring those last few examples together, I'll play through the whole 12 bar sequence now uh, with some of the voicings we've just been using. I'll do the same now with just the left hand voicings.
Notice there sometimes I'm uh, altering the ninth uh, on some of the uh, seventh chords. Um, for instance, the D7 and the C7, uh, where on the D7 I'm flattening the E to an E flat, and on the C7 flattening the, flattening the ninth, the D uh, to the D flat. Example 8, now I'll play the same bebop type blue sequence, but this time in the key of B flat. I've used one or two different variations there uh, in terms of altered notes in, in the chords where I've altered the ninth um, as previously. To bring these ideas together, I now play a short version of the tune Biddy's Bounce by Charlie Parker in the key of F. That concludes the lesson and the series uh, on learning jazz piano. I uh, hope it's been useful to you. And um, the next stage for you really is to keep the learning going by going off and listening to some of the examples we've mentioned in the magazine and um, trying to develop what we've already worked on. Um, hope to see you again. <laughs>